This is the Onyx Studio 6 portable Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it's going to be a successor to the Onyx Studio 5, which I reviewed on this channel a while ago. So today in this video, I will be doing an unboxing of the Onyx Studio 6 and a sound test as well to give you all an idea of its performance and quality. So without wasting time, let's begin. Let's just unbox this quickly. Okay, here we go. Alright. Just pull out this pack. We'll look at it in a second. Uh, let's see what we get here in the box. Here we go. Here is the Onyx Studio 6. Let me put this box down. Alright. Voila. Here we go. There you have it. Alright, so let's see what we get here in this uh, pack. You open this. Okay. So you get a two pin plug here. And uh, what else do we get here? You also get a three pin plug as well, which is really good. So you can choose depending on your region, you can choose whichever one suits you. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, got your uh, instruction manual and your warranty booklet. And then uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, okay, you've got your adapter. Uh, that's pretty much all that's here, nothing else. Let me put that down. Now, okay, so coming back to the speaker itself, as you can see, the design looks pretty similar to the Onyx Studio 5. But the first thing I'm noticing here is that the black version of the, of the Onyx Studio 6, which I have here with me, now has a space gray handle. The handle is space gray in color. While on the black version of the Onyx Studio 5, the handle was silver in color. So that's the first thing I'm noticing here. So the major difference between the Onyx Studio 5 and the Onyx Studio 6 is that the Onyx Studio 6 is now IPX7 waterproof as opposed to the IPX4 splash proof on the Onyx Studio 5. Uh, apart from that, everything else pretty looks uh, the same. You've still got the Harman Kardon logo at the front here and then you've got your buttons. The buttons are not still illuminated. As I stated earlier on in the Onyx Studio 5 uh, review video, I wish the buttons here were illuminated. That would have made it a lot easier using this in the night. Turning it over to the back, you've still got your micro USB port here and then you've got your power input and then you've got your auxiliary port for wild listening. Uh, there is no USB-C port for charging this up. And then underneath, you've still got the rubber grip here to keep it firm and sturdy on the table. Now it's time for the sound test. Please put on your headphones as this is going to be a manual recording. So let's test the Onyx Studio 6 and see how it performs. Thank you. 
So from the first sound impressions, what I'm noticing here is that the Onyx Studio 6 is pretty similar to the Onyx Studio 5 in terms of sound performance and quality. Uh, not much has changed. It gets pretty loud as well. And you get that fat meaty bass that spreads across the whole room. The bass is very meaty. It gets very rich bass. So if you love bass, definitely the Onyx Studio 6 is going to please you. As always, I'll be throwing links down in the description section for you all to purchase the Onyx Studio 6 if you want. I will also be doing some further sound comparisons uh, with the likes of the JBL Extreme 2 and the Bose Home Portable Speaker. So make sure you all stay tuned for that. As always, feel free to check out other reviews and comparisons on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Adios.